Hi, my name is Todd, and I am going to respond to the recent communication between the new U.S. Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, and his recent call to uh, China's top foreign policy officer, Mr. Yang Jiechi. And uh, if I said those, his, Mr. Yang's name incorrectly, it's because I'm reading Pinyin, so I have no idea what the characters are in order to be able to say it correctly. So, uh, sorry for that, anybody who knows the, crop, the proper pronunciation. Um, so first of all, the year of the cow is almost here. Uh, today is the eighth uh, in this point in time, and the year of the cow is on the 12th of February this year. But I can already start seeing spring in the air. Uh, it's always amazing how when we come close to the Chinese New Year, you can always see the changing of the seasons. It's something that's really neat how the Chinese uh, holidays are always related to the natural cycles of the seasons and the moon, and uh, the moon strongly influences the seasons, so it's, uh, it's a, a very different connection. So um, recently, in the conversation with, uh, with the um, top foreign policy official in China, uh, Mr. Yang, uh, Anthony Blinken, apparently, the uh, Financial Times says, Anthony Blinken blasts China in first phone call. Now, I'm sure that some of you may feel that that's a good thing. Uh, others of you may feel that that's not. We all have our different opinions. but. Uh, this is my show, so I'm going to give you my opinion. Um, the way that this reads, and I didn't read the whole article, I'm reading a part of the article because I really am not interested in reading the whole article after reading this. It says that Blinken said to a um, counterpart, I made clear the U.S. will defend our national interests, stand up for our democratic values, and hold Beijing accountable for its abuses of the international system. Okay, so that's, that's what he tweeted on Friday in Washington, D.C. So my problem with this situation is that if this is the first interaction with the U.S. and China at this level since the new administration, this is the first call that Mr. Blinken has made to his counterparts in China, this is the first discussion, and on Friday, that would have been five days until the Chinese New Year. Now, if the Chinese called Mr. Blinken five days before Christmas and blasted him, which they probably wouldn't do because that's not really the way they act, that's not their characteristics for the most part, but for sure they wouldn't do that. They would wish him a happy, a happy Christmas, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. They wouldn't most likely bring up very sensitive and controversial conversations days before a national holiday. And I really question whether or not he even brought up the fact to wish the Chinese people a Happy Spring Festival, to wish Mr. Yang and his family and uh, the leaders of the Chinese people a happy spring festival, which would have been the most important thing for him to do at that point in establishing a positive relationship. Because when we are starting out low, it makes it very difficult to go high. In Chinese, there's an expression uh, shui wang di chu liu, ren means that water flows down to lower spaces. Ren wang gao chu means that people walk to higher spaces. So what that's saying is that as human beings, we need to be putting ourselves in a higher space. What did Michelle Obama say? She said, when they go low, we go high. I think that really speaks a lot to how we're lacking in diplomacy in this country, how we've really become a very um, re reactive country. And with everything that's going on now, it's almost as if he's trying to satisfy the base. 
the negative and the, 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 the base of the American people who are, who are so negative and so, and so just like all riled up. And I don't think that's the way to manage international relations, especially with China. And so I hope that Mr. Blinken will uh, hear this, for one thing, or somebody in, in the administration, and stop and ask themselves, do we really understand how are the best ways to interact with China? Because I'm coming from a space of, no, I don't have all of this political experience, but I have a hell of a lot more experience in China with the Chinese language, with the Chinese culture, and with the Chinese people than Mr. Blinken could get in his whole family over his, his whole heritage of having arrived in the U.S. That's probably a pretty low amount just right there. Whereas I'm looking at over 40 years of interacting with the Chinese and speaking their language and interacting with their culture and seeing the changes that have taken place in their, in their culture and with, within their own lives. And I think that if we look at those two and we ask ourselves which would be the one the most qualified with the skill sets to best bridge our two cultures and our two countries in a better way, in a good way, to have better outcomes, I think that my background and my experience will blast him out of the water, honestly. I really hope that Mr. Blinken stops and questions his own way of interacting with other cultures, because if all he's doing is calling people up and blasting them in front of their national holidays, which are a very festive and, and happy time, that is not going to achieve communication channels that are going to help him to improve the situations that he's looking to improve. So I really hope that uh, maybe he can stop and think about that, and maybe we as the American people can also recognize that it's time to act with diplomacy and not drama. I hope you have a great Chinese New Year, and talk to you later. Bye.